In this video, we're going to talk about the barrel cooler that we use here at our long range shooting school that we designed. And of course, we sell them here. We get questions all the time in some of the videos that we do and students coming through the shooting schools when they see us break out these barrel coolers, it's like, wow, where do they, where'd you get them? And we use them because of the volume of shooting we do and the heat uh, that it generates. So this video is going to be just touching base real quick on some questions we had about the barrel coolers that we use. So at the long range shooting school here, we do a ton of shooting. And when we start shooting the long stuff, all of our rifles are suppressed. So this is a suppressor off of this rifle here. And suppressors generate a lot of heat. And if we want to continue shooting without having massive lulls in, in our shooting, we have to get the gun to school. Or what happens is, is you just inadvertently destroy the rifles. So if you run these rifles for four or five hours straight running drills, and you don't give them a chance to cool down with no suppressor on, it's extremely hard on the rifles. With suppressors on, it's even worse because your suppressor gets overheated and then heat sinks that heat back to the barrel, through the barrel, and inadvertently helping to speed up the breakdown process of the barrel itself. So if you want to destroy your rifle barrel in a hurry, shoot suppressed and don't let it cool off and just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. Every round, the suppressor gets hotter, the barrel gets hotter, the suppressor adds to the heat that couple minutes of you reloading, so the barrel never cools, it's still heating up the whole time. We had bought a lot of different barrel cores over the years, and in one instance, this is what led us to what we have here, we threw away nearly $900 of barrel coolers at the shooting school in one year. And so time and time again, they kept failing. We used them way more than most what most people do so you know they're just they stop charging they stop running uh, some of them had one two three replaceable batteries which by the way are very expensive and so we're throwing you know two and three and five dollar batteries away two and three times a class so this led us down to look we got to come up with a better way the final nail in the coffin for me was that although they, they seem like and they sound like they put off a lot of air right so you kick one of the other barrel coolers on and you hear them really spool up. They sound like a really angry bee. And you put your finger over the tip of a little nozzle that's this big and you can feel it moving air. But heat is dissipated through convection and conduction, right? And so we have to not just get air through, but we have to get a massive volume of air through. It's not just about having a little nozzle with a little high pressure, because once you start running it down the barrel and in the suppressor, you lose all that, that air. At this point, it's about volume, not speed, right? So the other issue that runs into this as well is we have to get the suppressor to cool down as fast as possible. So we're trying to take, in essence, this big baffled tube which holds a lot of volume of air and heat, right? We've got to get a ton of air through that suppressor, forcing the heat this way rather than let it sinking back. So when you use a barrel cooler at the range, what happens, especially suppressed, is rather than what normally happens, this is like an easy bake oven on the end of your rifle. It gets overheated and it keeps sinking the heat back. The heat keeps going back both from the convection and conduction. So you've got this, locked to the barrel, which is sinking the heat. And then you've got the heat coming back through as well in air back through your bore. And so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you get air through the chamber and the cool air from here that way. This is the hottest. We don't wanna draw it this way. We don't wanna blow air this way. We want cool air coming through here, cooling the chamber, cooling the barrel, and then blowing the heat through the suppressor. So what we came up with here is a much better way uh, to cool the barrels. Number one, we wanted something that we could charge. So we have a little battery station there at our range that we have some solar panels on our shoot house that we can leave all of our barrel coolers behind and charge them every day at the end of class. We can have multiples charging. This is a high volume air pump and they use these for different things. We found one that we like the best, has the biggest battery, plus it moves a lot of air, not just speed wise, volume wise. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cool air that's running through here, and we have a little hose that we sell with it. We're gonna take on our tube end, which can't melt or damage anything. We're gonna put this into our chamber. We're gonna close the bolt to hold it in place. 
We're going to turn it on. And now we are forcing a ton of air through the barrel, out through the muzzle. Now, for example, one of the things that's really important is just to show you how fast the air is moving through. So if we're going to get one of our B-roll cameras over here. That is what you're looking for when you're trying to blow the heat through the barrel, not just pull the barrel, but actually get it to go through the suppressor. We've got to pull the suppressor. That's the hardest part. And so we designed our own uh, barrel cores here. You can buy them, they come in a little kit like this. Uh, you can see them online on our website. We can ship one to you. But we had to take the effort in order to keep the guns lasting as long as possible, basically to come up with our own design. The benefit to this is we had a customer, and the reason I'm doing this video here is a customer had asked, like, you know, with the 22 Creed and all these other calibers, how long do they last? And if you keep your gun cool when you go to the range, doing load development, shooting and training, every time you come off doing 10, 15, 20 rounds of volume, get a barrel cooler in there, get that heat flushed out, and we're able to get 2,000 plus rounds through the 22 Creed more, and no problem at all. Now our bullets are HBN coated. But even with the 223s that we've used years past and then the 6.5 Creeds we've used in years past, we can really add a lot of barrel life and reduce the amount of wear in the bore by getting the heat out as fast as possible. And if you're running suppressed, this is even more important because that suppressor, again, is holding that heat to your gun. It's like an oven. It's hundreds of degrees now, and it's, it's both... Um, sinking the heat back because it's directly attached to the steel so it's drawing the heat and then you have convection you've got that hot air from the suppressor working its way back through the bore overheating everything again so just a little bit video on the barrel cores that we sell here and for those that have asked like hey what is that that you're running at the range there because they see it in the background running and then why we designed our own over some of the other commercially available barrel cores that you see run off of a double air little one two three battery um, it's not enough air movement, and if you tried to let it cool to the appropriate temperature, it would take two or three times longer than it should. Uh, so we just went ahead and developed our own. So it's about the amount of air, the volume, and the speed that is pushing it out. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoy it, <laughs> so thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoy videos like this, uh, we'd like to encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That helps us out a lot here at the channel. And comment down below if you have any questions. We'd be more glad to hear from you, answer any questions you might have. Thanks for taking the time to join us. See you next video.